Seattle Happy Lab puts Seattle back in the forefront of the happiness movement and picks up where Seattle Area Happiness Initiative, fondly called Say Hi, left off. Seattle Happy Lab is Say Hi 2.0, rethought and redesigned after seven years of working with cities, states, and communities in the happiness movement. It is a project of the Happiness Alliance, home of the Happiness Index and the Happiness Initiative. Why Seattle Happy Lab now? Why is now the time for Seattle to regain its leadership role in the happiness movement? A little history tells the story. On June 20th, 2011, the Seattle City Council was the first in our nation to sign a happiness proclamation, just one day after the UN released Resolution 65309, Happiness, towards a holistic approach to development calling on nations to develop wider measures of happiness and well-being for public policy purposes. The Seattle City Council Happiness Proclamation said that, quote, The City Council acknowledges our role and responsibility for the happiness and well-being of our citizens, and went on to say that the Seattle City Council intended to consult the happiness data and the recommendations from the community for policy purposes, and they did. In 2011, Seattle and Somerville, Massachusetts were the first cities in the United States to issue a happiness report card. The Seattle Area Happiness Report Card explained the happiness and well-being of our Seattle area residents using the Happiness Index. It revealed that young people between the ages of 19 and 24 were suffering in many of the domains of happiness, from economic to environmental, community to trust in government. It also revealed that overall in Seattle, people had a strong sense of social support, but low scores in community participation and time balance. The following year, with support from the City of Seattle Department of Neighborhoods, the Happiness Index was used by four immigrant and refugee communities in South Seattle, again with surprising and concerning findings. This happiness data points the way for policymaking. Seattle's happiness proclamation and use of the happiness index inspired many other areas, from Eau Claire, Wisconsin, to the legislature of Vermont with the help of the University of Vermont's Center for Rural Studies, from the city of Cali in Columbia to Creston and District in British Columbia. Over 200 groups around the world and over 70,000 people have taken and used the happiness index survey. The Happiness Alliance, home of Seattle Happy Lab, has not gone unnoticed. In 2012, we were invited by the Prime Minister of Bhutan to attend the high-level meeting Well-Being and Happiness, Defining a New Economic Paradigm, and participate in the Civil Society Working Group. In 2015, on invitation from the OECD, we were an exhibitor at the OECD's Fifth World Forum Statistics, Knowledge, and Policy, Transforming Policy, Changing Lives. And in February of 2017, the United Arab Emirates Minister of the State of Happiness invited us to participate in the Dialogue for Global Happiness at the World Government Summit in Dubai. These are just a few of the notable invitations and events. At each one, the same question arises. What is happening in Seattle? Seattle Happy Lab answers this question and draws from these years of experience. Its mission is rooted in curating well-being and resilience. Seattle Happy Lab will convene the Seattle community, nonprofits, and government, raise awareness about the happiness movement in our city through community events and conversations, collect data using the Happiness Index, and create a report that includes our city's baseline data gathered in 2011. We'll work with policymakers and other decision makers to understand how to use this data and collaborate with our community to take action for greater happiness, well-being, resilience, and sustainability in our city, and once again put Seattle back on the map in a leadership role nationally and globally in the happiness movement. So give big to this important project to answer the question of how we define social justice, how we realize the dream of equal opportunities for all to pursue happiness, and how we secure a future where all can thrive. Over and over, Seattle has proven to be a powerful leader for cities across the globe. It's time to do it again.